I absolutely love chicken shawarma. It's one of my absolute favorites. I make it all the time with my kids. I've showed you how I do a chicken shawarma pita before, and today I'm gonna show you a new way that I cook chicken shawarma right in my skillet and how to turn it into a beautiful chicken shawarma salad bowl that is healthy, low carb. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com. I'm all about easy, wholesome recipes with big Mediterranean flavors, and there's nothing to me more flavorful than chicken shawarma, and the secret is in the shawarma spice mixture. Let me show you the star ingredients that make the beautiful, super warm, super flavorful shawarma spice mixture. Turmeric, cumin, coriander, paprika, garlic powder, and just a hint of cayenne pepper and some cloves. So equal parts of these guys right here. Pinch of cayenne pepper and a pinch of cloves because they're just super strong. So let's just get to it and I'll show you how this mix goes. Turmeric goes in first. You're looking for about three quarter tablespoon of each of these spices. Cumin is next. Eyeball about three quarter tablespoon of cumin. Coriander, oh my gosh, coriander smells so good. I wish more people used it. So this is my tablespoon side. Don't be confused, it just doesn't fit in here. So I'm kind of improvising. And then we have sweet Spanish paprika adds depth of flavor. And then we have some garlic powder and just a pinch of cayenne pepper, a pinch or more depending on how spicy you like your chicken shawarma and a pinch of cloves. Mm, yes, super strong so don't go crazy right here. These spices are available on the MediterraneanDish.com. Just hit the shop tab if you're looking for them. So I'm just gonna break this baby up and mix it. And the reason that you mix this first before adding it to the chicken is so you can get a nice even coating on the chicken shawarma. Let me just point out, these ingredients right here are going in the salad portion, so we're not gonna work on them yet. We are gonna get our shawarma marinating. So I am using some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can do this with boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm a thigh person, that's why I always use them, you can't mess them up. I have about six to eight pieces of chicken and we're just gonna have at it. First things first, my chicken is nice and ready. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice coating of salt on this side here. Then with my gloved hand, I'm gonna grab my first piece and what I wanna do is cut my chicken piece is super thinly or whatever, you know, just bite-sized pieces, nothing special. Hi, Max. Max is my dog. He hangs out in the kitchen. Grab a big bowl like this. Thinly sliced or bite-sized pieces. However you arrive at this does not matter to me. Here we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got all the chicken in here and we need to add our beautiful chicken shawarma spice mix. So I'm just gonna dump the whole thing right in here. Give it a quick toss, just a quick toss. We're gonna add a few things to it. We're gonna add some onions, some lemon juice, and some olive oil to kind of get a little bit of a marinade going and to give our chicken every little piece such flavor. Here we go, we're gonna add some onions, onion slices, juice of one lemon. Here we go. The citrus does so much to flavor the chicken and just kind of brighten everything up. Some Greek extra virgin olive oil. For this, I'm using the Private Reserve olive oil. You can find it on the MediterraneanDish.com. It's a beautiful oil that comes to us directly from Greece. I absolutely love it. Adds so much flavor. And here we go. A little more toss. Make sure every single piece is coated. That is looking nice and well combined. For now, I'm just gonna set it aside. Now, if you have the time, 
Cover this baby up, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours or at least a half hour, it does make a difference. You can do this step one night in advance and kind of make dinner time super easy. But if you don't have the time, just leave it aside for just a few minutes while you work on other things and that's it. All right, so we are going to cook our chicken shawarma in the skillet this time, you guys. My earlier video, I showed you how to do chicken shawarma in the oven, but today I'm going to show you a new way, right in your skillet. I love to use a big cast iron skillet, get it nice and warm. I'm going to add a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil. Not a ton, because remember, we've already kind of dressed up our chicken in some olive oil. And all we have to do is get our chicken right in the skillet. So, sizzle, sizzle. One more. So we're gonna leave the chicken in here five minutes or so, then we're gonna come back and kind of give it a nice toss, cook it on the other side, get a nice good color on our chicken shawarma. All right, while my chicken is nicely sizzling, I'm going to go ahead and work on the salad portion of our chicken shawarma salad bowl. So for the salad, I've got all my veggies here, but I'm gonna start with my actual uh, lemon uh, vinaigrette or dressing. I have some garlic, just one garlic clove, and then some lemon juice and olive oil, obviously, <laughs> for my dressing. Juice of one full lemon. Oh yes, very lemony situation. Some Greek extra virgin olive oil. And then let's do some seasoning. Salt and pepper. And then my secret ingredient for all sorts of salads is sumac, I love this thing. Sumac. Oh yes. So much flavor going on between the chicken shawarma and this lemony dressing for the salad. Oh, it's so good. Arugula is my favorite green to use in a salad. I don't use lettuce very much, but arugula I do. So I love arugula here. It's gonna add body. It's so peppery and tasty. It is the perfect complement to my warm and earthy chicken shawarma. Then we have some English cucumbers, just nicely diced. I have a couple Roma tomatoes, nicely diced. Just a few red onions, thinly sliced. And that's really it. That's really all there is to the salad. Let's give it a nice whisk again and magic. Oh yes, so good. Oh my goodness, so good. I think our chicken shawarma is ready, so let's put this thing together. Oh my gosh, it smells like heaven in this kitchen. Beautiful pieces of chicken shawarma done right in your skillet, you guys. Okay, coming in nice and hot. A little bit of hummus in my nice bowl here. I love homemade hummus. I love to make a nice big bowl of salad with a little hummus to the side and then top it with my chicken shawarma so here we go a little hummus a little salad and then let's come in with some beautifully caramelized perfectly cooked skillet chicken shawarma this is how i shawarma y'all if you want the recipe for my chicken shawarma salad bowls, grab it on themediterraneandish.com. If you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow along every single week. We have a brand new video for you and I will see you later. Ciao.